Hello, this is Professor G, week eight of ENT 620. Just a very brief video on some of the things to keep in mind, key issues when you are buying an existing business. Financial records, one of the, the most important things to look at, actually the most important thing to look at when you're buying a business would be the financial records. It's not good enough to look at one year. That could be an aberration, could just be an exceptionally good year and you're going to pay more for the business. You want to look at a minimum of three years. And if you're talking a very substantial business uh, investment, you might even look at five years. Again, you are looking for inconsistencies in the financial records. Liabilities, whether you know about them or not, when you purchase a business, the liabilities come to the buyer. Again, whether you know of them or not, when you buy a business and then a liability later arises, so let's say three months, six months after you buy the business, you find out that you owe X $200,000. You didn't know about that. The seller didn't tell you. Well, that's your issue. That's your problem. When you take a business, when you buy a business, you're buying the good and the bad. And, and so specifically what I am going to focus on right now is that you request uh, tax clearance certification from the seller in both state and federal uh, tax. Why? Absolutely. If any tax comes due after you purchase the business, meaning a tax liability that you didn't know about, uh, you are going to pay the bill with penalties. So always request a tax certification clearance for state and federal taxation. Customer concentration, when you're looking at their customer base, how diverse is it? Are they dependent upon a, a very small niche market? It's not a bad thing. It's just going to impact possibly the value of the business because if there's a very small customer segment, that puts you at higher risk in the event the market should change. If the value of the business is based in, in part on the condition or on equipment, the existence of physical equipment, whether it be tech or machinery, you want to make sure that the equipment is in good working order. And so you might even hire an expert to come in and do a review, look at the, the equipment to make sure there are, aren't any immediate needs to replace or repair. Supplier relationships. Is the business you're purchasing uh, dependent upon one or two uh, very specific suppliers? If so, inquire about that relationship, maybe even reach out to one of the suppliers. You don't want to buy the business only to find out that the supplier that you need to run your business had a fallen out with the seller and has discontinued servicing that business. Contract review. You want to review uh, all existing contracts, real property leases, you know, the, the store property, whatever real estate you are leasing to operate the business or purchase, uh, equipment leases, vehicle leases, and any applicable employee agreements. Employee loyalty, who's staying and who is leaving. If a key employee leaves, that could greatly impact your ability to be profitable in year one of acquisition. So that is something to look at, um, employee loyalty. Finally, uh, building inspections. If you're buying a brick and mortar, you must have it inspected because you are going to take the building with all known and unknown faults. And so um, you don't want to wake up two months into uh, owning a new business only to find out that it needs a new roof, which will cost you $100,000. Lots to be concerned about when you are buying a business. It's a great experience, but something that you have to go in with eyes wide open. Thank you.